Hi, Mark Gordon. Tuesday, June the 14th, 2011, and taking a closer look at gold here. Uh, this is a chart uh, uh, going back about nine years, uh, looking at the bull run that gold has enjoyed since uh, around 2000, 2001. We're now in about the 10th or 11th year of, a, of a, a nice big bull run here. And you can see that this uptrend is clearly intact here. Uh, gold above $1,500 now, uh, just riding up uh, all trend lines and moving higher. Now this is a monthly chart and um, it has not been a straight up rise obviously, nothing is. And uh, We did have a nasty pullback here in 2008 which took us all the way down here to this black dotted line which is the 40 month moving average. Found support there and that's really the only time uh, uh, during this move except for the very beginning that it's done this. Uh, most of the time it has respected this blue line here which is the 10 month moving average and uh, that is at about uh, $1,426 here. And uh, right now we're riding up this red line, uh, which is the four month moving average and holding pretty tight here. And zooming into this monthly chart, we can see the support we're getting here at the four month moving average, which is at about $1,510. And you can see for the last uh, couple of months, we have been pulling back a little bit. Uh, nothing to be concerned about though. Now something I want to point out to you is the relationship of gold versus gold stocks. And you can see here that gold has really taken off, gapped up here and um, uh, in relation to the gold stock. So gold holding its ground while the gold stocks are being taken down. Now this happened before to a really uh, very extreme uh, extent back here in late 2008 when the markets of course had its severe sell-off. Gold held relatively stable uh, versus the stocks and uh, ver spiked up uh, uh, very dramatically here. Now uh, I am noticing a lot of, uh, of strength of the gold uh, versus uh, the gold stocks here in the last uh, uh, several months. So this is something to keep an eye on. Stocks have been uh, clearly selling off uh, for the last five or six weeks now and uh, while gold has held very steady uh, above $1,500. And looking back several years on a monthly chart of gold versus the S&P 500, we can see that gold has uh, been holding its own and moving up for the last uh, four or five months uh, versus stocks. And uh, you can see that little gap up here. So gold uh, remaining strong and getting stronger as stocks are selling off. I wanted to call your attention uh, to this chart here. Uh, this is the uh, U.S. Housing Price Index, the HGX. And it peaked here at about 0.683. Uh, here in, in mid-2005 and it's been downhill uh, in a big way ever since reaching a bottom here in 2009 just before this uh, bull market in stocks began and um, it was down 91.4 percent from the peak in just uh, uh, several years so a huge huge fall in relationship to gold so when you price homes against gold you get a huge drop and then right now we are 89.7% off the high. So uh, this questions the validity of all the stimulus uh, money that's been thrown uh, at the banks to help the housing market. All the um, you know super low interest rates and money printing and quantitative easing and all this is really making gold go up uh, much faster than home prices are going up. So the stimulus is, is an illusion. And when you price things in gold, the illusion continues. Here is the S&P 500 versus gold. And it peaked here in 2000 and has been virtually downhill ever since, reaching a low here in early 2009 before our bull market began. And uh, when you price stocks in gold, they were off 84.5%. And right now, uh, the uh, S&P 500, when priced in gold, is currently off 81.5% off the highs that it made almost 10 years ago. And it gets interesting when you price the U.S. dollar versus gold. And uh, the U.S. dollar hit a peak here in 2001 and has been falling very, very rapidly, especially lately, gaining some momentum to the downside here. And we are currently off, the dollar is off 89.7% on the 
off the high made in 2001. So in 10 years, the dollar has lost 89.7% of its purchasing power versus gold. And here's a chart of the price of, uh, of oil, uh, light, uh, light sweet crude, and um, hit a bottom here of $10.72 back here in uh, late 1998 and ran up to a peak here of $145.78. And right now we're at about 100 and, uh, 102 uh, in that area. So if you wonder why uh, things like uh, gasoline are costing a lot more, um, it's really because the dollar is losing its value. And uh, so things are getting more expensive as the dollar uh, loses value against gold.